The moon is a very common sight for most of life on Earth, but also a familiar landscape for 12 incredibly brave astronauts, who each explored parts of its dead surface in the past. In the future, more manned missions to land on the moon have been planned, but these explorers will still be wearing special spacesuits to allow them to survive the deadly vacuum of space. But what if there was a way in which you could walk on the moon without a spacesuit? Instead, take a leisurely stroll while looking up into the sky and appreciating the beauty of our home planet, Earth. This might sound crazy, but according to scientists, this idea could one day be a reality. Scientists think that in the future we may be able to transform our grey, desolate moon into a miniature version of Earth by using a method known as terraforming. This would take a very long time, require huge advancements in technology and huge monetary funds to make possible. But if it was achieved, then the moon would then become a hospitable place for life to exist. However, terraforming the moon would not be an easy process. The temperature at its surface massively changes from day to night. It can reach a scorching 123 degrees Celsius in the direct sunlight, and a frigid minus 153 degrees Celsius when darkness falls. It has a very weak atmosphere that consists of many gases, including sodium and potassium which are not found in the atmospheres of Earth, Mars or Venus. It doesn't boast the gravitational forces required to retain a strong atmosphere for long periods of time and this means there's no surface pressure. The gravity is much lower than Earth's, which potentially could affect the physical health of humans over time, and the lack of magnetic field allows harmful radiation from the sun to bombard its surface. But there are some advantages to terraforming the moon rather than the more popular Mars for example. For starters, it is much closer to Earth. With current technology, we can travel to the moon in around three days. A trip to Mars takes six to eight months. The moon also receives much more sunlight than Mars does, and it is much smaller, meaning less work is required to build a suitable atmosphere. So what would be the method of terraforming the moon to make it a safe place for life to exist? Well, scientists would need to form a breathable, thick atmosphere, and this could be created by steering about 100 comets the size of Halley's Comet from the outer solar system towards the moon. Then, just as they're about to collide, carefully blowing them apart, causing ice shards to scatter across the lunar surface, causing an atmosphere to form almost immediately. This atmosphere would only last a few thousand years, and it would need to be replenished fairly regularly. But it would offer insulation for warmer, more stable temperatures, filter out some of the sun's harmful radiation, and create a surface pressure for future life forms. Colliding comets with the moon could also be used to speed up its rotation and tilt its axis, making it more seasonally similar to Earth. As the comet ice melts, it would form small lakes or even seas, and scientists could introduce algae so that oxygen could be produced. Plant life created purposely for the new moon in a lab on Earth could be planted across its surface, turning its grey, dead landscape into a vibrant haven. Because of the low gravity on the moon, humans would be able to fly with flaps on their arms as they dip in and out of the low lunar clouds, eventually landing, sitting back, breathing comfortably and watching the marble-like planet Earth shining 238,855 miles away in the distance. Obviously, terraforming the moon would require extreme technological advancements to achieve, and all these ideas are far beyond our current or near future capabilities. Instead, these wild ideas will stay in the realms of science fiction until humans drastically advance. 
But next time you look up at the moon, remember that according to science, it is possible for somebody to be looking back at the Earth without needing the protection of a clumsy spacesuit. I really hope you enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button and subscribe for much much more to come. If you can't wait for the next video then why not check out the other videos on my main channel, there is loads there to watch. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.